Who in their right mind would like to... Yeah, we're back in Whitechapel again, guys. And I just thought I'd return to this part to show you something pretty cool, actually. And uh, I'm actually going to see, look, the level all market starts with peelers all over the place, as you can see right now. I'm just going to run all the way over the level just to show you how filled the place is. And obviously, I'm not going to save after this because I don't want to waste my um, armor. But I just want to show you how riddled Whitechapel is with peelers right now. And then, boom, they're all gone. And that took me about... 10 or 15 minutes to do there, but I managed to get rid of every single last one of the peelers, and I'll show you all of Whitechapel right now, to show you not a single one's around, so you can, you can freely crawl the streets right now, just defeat the enemies you need to for the chalice, and not have to bother about the silly peelers constantly chasing you, and only being able to be knocked out. So just kill these zombies, so, there we go, and you'll notice there's not a single peeler anywhere. <laughs> and it was actually really funny, because when I was learning them all there, it's actually surprising how many peelers are in Whitechapel, like, you dodge them half the time, of course, but there are like four host, I guess you could say, four host peelers, and then when you get near one, there are random random spawning ones that appear out of nowhere, like in doorways. They randomly just pop up and run out. Uh, so technically there was like 20 peelers in the level. But a lot of the time they kept getting jammed in the doorways, spinning around over and over, and I had to keep hitting them to get their attention and start following me. And a lot of the time they run on the spot for a second with their hand over their mouth, looking like they're blowing a whistle that that isn't even there, but they sort of run in the spot for a few seconds before they start going beep beep and running towards you. It looks so funny. They're so glitchy, the peelers, and half the time they keep running at each other, getting stuck, and running against doorways and walls. But yep, as you can see, there is not a single peeler anywhere to be found. I'll just show you down this way. I know I've already been down here, but I didn't show you all the way around. I'm really glad to revisit Whitechapel right now. This is a level I used to experiment a lot with when I was younger, and yeah, Sorry about that note of always popping up. I'm always getting notes in my computer, but here we go. Just show you all the way around here. Not a single peeler. And <laughs> this is actually another technique I used to use. Sometimes I used to hide peelers in here. Like, I used to lure them all here and, like, trap them in here. Because they could never get out of here. <laughs> well, not easily, anyhow. If you happen to stand over here, they tend to run up here. But they were mostly trapped in here because they stupidly run against walls whenever you leave them too long. Chalice can be collected. I haven't even defeated many zombies. I didn't defeat pretty much any of the ones in the graveyard. So just jump over here. Yeah, as you can see, there is no, there's no peelers to be found anywhere. I haven't encountered a single one. But they are in one area of the level that I trapped them in. And I'll show you where they are. And it took a while to lure them all. I lost a bit of shield percentage while doing so, but it wasn't too bad. It was just so funny. I had like five Jason at ones right down this pathway. Some of them glitching out and deciding to run in this direction and get jammed in this doorway. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? They're so glitchy. Oh, would it please, sir? Just hit him for the laws. White Chapel, who in the right mind would like to live in White Chapel? Not me, that is for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm singing Mr. Music again. But yeah, just to make sure none of them could run out, I also jammed this uh, two boxes, this gap here, with the box they push up against the ladder. But they're all in here. But none of them are going to attack me, see? Because after a while, they all just get confused. Look, see? They're confused about where they are. They're constantly walking into walls. And yeah, a minute ago, they decided to stop chasing me as well. One of them was chasing me all the way up towards this um, gap here. And then he stopped running, and then he kneeled his knees and went, Elo. And I'm like, did you forget that you were chasing me? I mean, like, these are senile peelers. They shouldn't have been getting their jobs. I mean, what the hell? So yeah, see so what I mean? Like, one, two, yeah, five. There's five peelers here. There's five host peelers. And the others just randomly spawn once uh, you trigger one of these. Because there's one in each alleyway, and every time you trigger one of them, uh, more randomly spawn outside the doorways. But yeah, this is where they all are. If you hit them, that alarms them, see? See, this one's gonna attack me now, see? <laughs> so I'm just gonna run away. And I'm not sure if that triggered any out here. It might have done, I'm not sure. But in this doorway here, I noticed that two randomly spawn here. Like, two randomly spawn outside this doorway, which is pretty weird. So, yeah, I might just demonstrate a bit of what I did just now, just to show you it actually in action. Oh, you should have saw me there when I opened that chest. When I jumped in the middle of opening it, it just propelled me so far forward. But here we go. I'm just going to start off uh, luring a couple. I'll get this one's attention. Come get me, bro. So they're just try and gather all of them at once. And you'll see that some of them just randomly spawn outside doorways and such. Yeah, so once you alarm too many pillars at once, you'll notice like huge hordes of them just appear out of nowhere. And you get like five chasing you towards the beginning at once. Okay, hang on. Okay, just trigger this one. Come on. See, I mean, like, see, do you see that? He runs on the spot for a few seconds once you trigger him, like, looking, like, he puts his hand in his mouth as if he's like, okay, should I blow this whistle or not? Um, uh, yes, I'm gonna blow my whistle. <laughs> like, it takes a few minutes to decide to do it. I, I wanna get the camera angle on them just to show you how silly they look. So, like, that one's running the opposite direction. They just sort of 
lose track of where they're running. See, he stopped. He's walking on the spot for a second. That one's walking into a wall. They're so glitchy. See, yeah. And I had to hit half of them to get their attention to start chasing me. And look, he's not coming after me. What the hell? He just can't see me, can he? But see, I mean, like, they all randomly spawn. It's like doorways when you trigger them. And he's just not caring, is he? <laughs> Going on a killing spree here, and the peeler is like, This is not a crime! Zombies are not a crime in this town! Bitch! Here we go. I can't move when, when you've got a lock on. Okay, just. See, this is a struggle I went through a minute ago trying to lure them all into that area. But here we go. I'm just trying to show you how silly they look on camera as well. I'll see if I can get on camera a bit better with another one. Once you. There we go, that's another one. Because uh, I alarmed a host, it made that one randomly spawn in the doorway. And that one randomly spawned too, but it's just walking around in circles, so I mean. They're so glitchy. And see, I mean, like, two appear in that doorway, see it? Two appeared in that doorway. And there's so many of them. But I'm not going to bother luring those ones if they're not going to come, because they're only... Uh, ...triggered ones. So if I lead the host ones into here, they won't appear later on. <laughs> so it's, there's only five I technically need to lead into here. So the zombies are in here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So knock them out just to stop them annoying me while I do this little pattern here. I also can't block them all out right now with this box because I need to lure more in. So just knock them all out so I can have enough time to push this box up here. It's annoying because if you, if, if you don't knock them all out at the same time, they're all going to get up at different times. Okay, I'll get away from all top. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> and on his last hit. Got there we go. Okay, okay. Just let them hit me, let them hit me. Okay, maybe I can- Oh shit! Just, oh wow! Did you see that? Just ran right through the wall. Right, maybe I can make the jump from here. Okay, um... Yes, I can. Cool. Right, by the time I'm back, they'll have forgotten who I am, and they'll not bother trying to chase me. But yeah, see the ones that were jammed this doorway, they're no longer around. Well, that one isn't. Probably because I didn't run far away from these ones, but if I run further away from them, they'll automatically disappear. So yeah, just leave those two alone, because they're being dumbasses and can't even see me. And see, this, look at this one down here. Once you get close enough to one. Oh, damn it, I never, never saw that one. I'll see if there's another nearby. Okay, I'll try and get away from this one. Just so you can see him, like, his reaction to noticing me. Right, okay, hang on. Let's get far away enough from him so they won't see me. Oh, stop. Why did you stop running, Dan? What the hell? Keep running. Stop. Why does he keep stopping? Right. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. There we go. The zombies are going to spawn there. Oh god, I got propelled again. And he's running back now. Now that he's lost him, he runs back to where he was originally located. And he was originally located quite far away. He was originally located next to the spev room with that life fountain, so he's going to sprint back there. See? <laughs> They're so glitchy. See, like, he's just sprinting back. He ain't even walking. See? I've not to do that. Like, once they lose track of where you are, they sprint back to their original source point. Oh, he found me! That's a different one. Who the hell did I alarm there? Oh, see, look! That's what I was trying to show you. They run on the spot for a few seconds before eventually chasing you. I hope you saw that there. I'm sorry, but there we go. So that's just a wee example of what I was doing a minute ago. Just, oh, there we go. He ran into something. He's like, oh, what am I doing here? Just assume you ran into that lamppost. So freaking glitchy. But I just wanted to demonstrate to you roughly what I did and how freaking glitchy these dudes are. He's not even blowing a whistle. You're just hearing the sound of the whistle. There we go. Follow me, sucker. See, he looks so silly. Okay, I've got to lure him into a lamppost just to show you how stupid they look. Hang on. Run into his lamppost. <laughs> See, they just get all glitched out when you run into stuff. Like, hang on. Don't know if you saw that very well, but... I'm trying to get him stuck in this lamppost. I'm trying to get him stuck against something. Just, they glitch out big time when they run against something. Okay, okay, um, get him to run against this box. Hang on. I'll stop it. Oh, the camera angle's not doing me any favours right now. See? When they're wedged between something, they just glitch out. See? Right, I just thought I'd show you some of that funny madness, and he's just like, oh, fuck it. He ain't of any importance to me anymore, see? He's just decided, ah, oh, he's no longer a threat. <laughs> so yeah, here are the... Here are your authorities. This is who's in charge of people's lives. In charge of keeping the, in, the town in check. You're doing great at your job. Hello, I'm right in front of ya. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I was just wanting to expose... The I just want to expose 
Whitechapel's authorities for what it is. They need to get their shit together because this is some serious times going on right now. Thank you very much for watching, guys.